to the Grinful Plays Battlefleet Gothic Armada. So obviously I haven't done one of these in a while, I've been mostly doing Total War and um, kind of be continuing that pretty soon too, but had uh, numerous real life issues. So uh, anyways, considering uh, the new content that has been released, it's free by the way, um, and they're eventually going to be releasing a Tau as well, but the current version that they added is Space Marines. So I figured we'd uh, go ahead and see what they can do as a fleet. So uh, as bonuses, they have uh, very resilient to insubordination. They have very strong assault actions. They have powerful favors. Uh, downsides, their ships are expensive. They're not good at long range. And they don't have defensive fighters. So... Not really quite sure what that means, but I guess we will find out. Oh, okay. We also have the option to um, pick a chapter. I don't know if it's actually going to change anything. Uh, I mean, I guess it's probably just going to like affect the color of the ships, huh? Um, uh, let's do Space Wolves. Why not? Or be Space Vikings. Need something space marine-ish, in, in that they generally just add like suffixes to normal names. So let's uh, go with that. Or just be Grunicus Fulius. And uh, so I found that uh, the difficulty doesn't actually change how the CPU plays against you. All it does is slow or increase the rate at which you earn money. Even now, I mean. So in that this is uh, basically being done to show the different types of ships, we're just going to go with normal. Uh, I don't want to play it hard or heroic and make this take forever, so normal will give us a decent speed at which this will occur. <clears throat> so as per usual, we are going to take a brief look, or brief-ish look, to begin with at all the different ships we have available. Um, so yeah, these are the initial escort ships. It looks like this one, 200 hull, 100 shields, uh, has double light macro turrets, so 270 degrees. Nova frigate, um, yep, turret and lance, and hunter destroyer has some torpedoes and a turret. Uh, Hunter tour, yeah, the Hunter Destroyer on also is a weaker ship overall. It has 100 less health and yeah, it has less defensive turrets. So that probably will almost never get used for me. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look here at the different ships we have access to. So for starters, we have a Vanguard Mark One. Looks like 400 hull, 100 shields, 225 speed. That is a not too bad stats stat line for the ship, and well, that's that right there is impressive. 75 armor all the way around, front, side, and rear armor is all 75. That's quite impressive. Um, puts other races to shame, honestly, in terms of armor. So they're really well armored. Uh, 15 degrees of rotation, uh, not the most maneuverable, but I believe they still get the usual Imperial maneuver stuff, so you can quickly turn your ship, so that's not too big a deal. Um, speed of 225 is okay, it's a little bit on the slow side though. Um, true value of 70, that's pretty impressive. Right, so it's equipped with a super heavy torpedo launcher, 45 damage, 4 torpedo tubes, 45 second cooldown on that. It's also got a macro battery on each side, which is 18 damage on a 9 second cooldown. And then we have Ordnance Launch Bays, which launch Thunderhawks, which perform assault actions and act as fighters. Interesting. Uh, Vanguard Mark II, uh, yep, same stats. Uh, it looks like they traded... The torpedoes? Yeah, they traded the torpedoes for two lances. Hmm. It's actually not awful. It's 16 damage on an 8 second cooldown. That's not too bad. Uh, same macro batteries. And still got a lot uh, ordnance bay. 
Then the last version, Mark III, we have a light bombardment cannon. So it's sort of a better critical hit chance cannon, essentially. But overall, it's probably equivalent damage to the lances, but the lances always hit, whereas this could miss. Uh, same old macro batteries and same ordnance space. So essentially, the difference between Mark 1, 2, and 3 is you either want torpedoes, you want uh, lance, or you want uh, cannon. And those are pretty much going to be your choices. Because there's not really any other options. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to start off here with a Mark 1. Just to get some sort of torpedoes in. And we're also going to throw in here a... I, I think I like the lance option better than the uh, bombardment cannon. So we're going to throw in a couple lances as well. Uh, upgrade wise, looks like we more or less have these standard upgrades. Is there anything different here? Uh, all right, there's this. What's this? Uh, first Company Terminators reduces the enemy troop value by 10. That's interesting. Um, this reduction is only works when you're doing lightning strike, essentially. Okay, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all. Basically increases your chances of getting a good result. Um, nothing else interesting. Oh, chapter relic increased. Okay, so that's different as well. Chapter relic increased troop value by five. Chapter banner reduced the cooldown of boarding strike and lightning or boarding actions and lightning strike. Boarding torpedoes, so you can get those, I guess. Thunderhawk gun gunship. Okay, so it's a bomber. You can, if you get an upgrade for it, you can basically spend that to get bomber versions of the Thunderhawks. Uh, otherwise, yeah, otherwise we're going to look at standard upgrades. I don't see anything. Wait, what's this? Okay, so this looks like it's going to function sort of like the Eldar version of Scramble their fighters or whatever. It's just going to be, you know, a way to get out some extra fighters to defend you. Uh, nothing else unique. So it says we have good favors. What does this do? Doesn't say? Why, why does it not say? Just as unique. This favor can only be fit once in my fleet. If I can only be fit once in my fleet, none of these are ever... Oh, do I have to click it? Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, so it's a 200 cost here. It's Word of the Emperor. We get immune to enemy assault actions for 30 seconds. Wow, that's pretty substantial. And then Master of Sanctity. Um, crew member reduce the cooldown of Word of the Emperor's skill by 5 seconds per level. And if I remember right, there's usually three upgrades for that, so you can drop it by 15 seconds. It's okay, not a big deal. Uh, Librarian is going to get us Fear of the Darkness. Um, trigger a mutiny test on the target enemy ship within 6,000 units. Each uh, point spent for Chief Librarian crew member increases the enemy's chance to succeed the test by 10 points, or reduces the enemy's chance. Uh, okay, it just tells you what it does. That's kind of weird. It tells you in this, and then it also says the same thing here. Wow, this would be absolutely brutal against, like, orcs. Um, orcs already have a horrible mutiny test, so... That's very interesting. Wow, that's kind of scary, actually, if you're playing orcs. Uh, Master the Forge over here. Um gives an extra upgrade slot to the ship. That's not bad. And wow. Okay, every single uh, crew member skill gives an extra upgrade point to the ship. So essentially this is four extra ship upgrades. That is absolutely insane, guys. 
four extra upgrades. Jeez. That's nuts. That's something like you put you put that on your battleship and you're just like there. That's done. Like that's just that's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. Alright, Chapter Master is going to be uh Ship can switch between stances, the finest warrior. Uh, stance raises the troop value of the ship, reduces the enemy troop value against its assault actions. The commander stance improves the effects of log on, reload, and brace for impact on every ship on the fleet. Wow. Okay. And let's see. Chapter Master crew member. Okay, so for every point you spend it'll give 2.5 points to lock on accuracy 12.5 to crit minus 2.5 to enemy accuracy on plus 2 armor to brace reload 2.5 points to combustion gauge and minus 2.5 on skill cooldowns finest warrior effects uh, minus 5 to enemy troop value for assault actions and plus 2 troop value for to the ship per level. Okay. So if it's they have three three points there, it's six troop value essentially. That's interesting. You can get some pretty crazy troop values. It looks like with uh, with uh, space marines. All right. Well, we have uh, now looked at more or less what we're you know have access to. Let's go ahead and spin some skills here. And I think this is almost a must-fit ability. Um, we're going to go ahead and get some Stormhawk squadrons, though. Just because. And I'm going to wait to see, actually, in this guy, because we probably won't end up bringing both of them. Alright, let's go in and see a battle with the Space Marines. Alright, we're going to be against... So that is Imperial Navy, but the symbol is Space Marines. I'm going to guess that's probably uh, going to be Space Marines. Right. Um, yeah, we'll go with this. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, let's see what happens. Nowhere to really hide here, it's just a cruiser clash too, so we're just out to kill each other. We'll go ahead and Space launch out. Ready. Do one of these have the uh Yeah they did. We'll go ahead and scrap the fighters, see. just cause. Well the fighters look here anyway. Let's just slow it down so we can look at them. Well, okay. Wow, oh, those are those fighters are big. All right. So our, it looks like our opponent is going to be over here. So far, just a single. That means his other ship is probably inside that. Because there's nowhere else to. Eh, he could be over there. I was gonna say there's nowhere else to hide. He could be hiding, but he could be hiding there too. I think we do have torpedoes, so let's go ahead and try to launch some pot shots at them here. See if we get lucky. You never know. Probably not. But it does not hurt. We're gonna need to be ready here. I'm sure they're probably gonna try to hit us with some sort of bomb or I don't know. A ready. Something. Oh, there's the other guy. What's he doing? Sitting in the sitting in the asteroid belt or something? What the hell? Alright. Repositioning. That's fine. We'll go over here. Up. Oh. Beginning tactical assessment. You can just come to a halt. This guy has to maneuver. Standard speed engaged. Hold course. Okay. Space Marines ready. Moving to position. Oh fuck! It's a big one. No. Redirecting. There you go. Tactical maneuver engaged. 
Hey, why don't you don't lose the crap out of us? They're being Ready dicks, guys. They're being total dicks. Repositioning. All right. All right. So what are what are we fighting? Is this actually Imperial? No, okay, it is Space Marines. This is indeed Space Marines. Let's go and launch some fighters here. Or boarding action fighters. I don't know. Stuff. We'll launch stuff at them. See if we can launch uh, some bar or torpedoes into the side here. Nice. Yeah, got him, got him, got him. Nice, nice, nice. What are you doing? Get over here. In the 3k range. Same here. 3k range. Stay here. Actually, charge him. Okay, stop. We're boarding action here. Let's put out that fire. We don't want that. Also launch the strike team there. Lightning strike. Let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and try to focus on his generators. There we go, generators. And make him priority one. I am listening. Let's see you guys. Same here. And you're priority two. Show us the enemy. Not that it really matters, I guess. Underway. We'll go ahead and launch more of these Stormhawks. Ready for battle. Oh, I thought it might. I thought he damaged something. Where we are needed. Show us the enemy. Three K range, and like we are just all sorts of circling where we don't need to be here. To where we are done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is pathetic. Standard speed engaged. At your command. Underway. Astartes vessel ready. Maneuver engaged. Alright, let's get assault action. Redirecting. Ready for battle. Nice, nice, I got generators. What are you doing? Come on. I am listening. Standard speed engaged. To where we are needed. Alright. Standard speed engaged. So we get another torpedo shot here. Oh, he felt that. Initiate targeting protocols. All power to engines. Your command. Standard speed engaged. Oh, he's trying to run. Uh oh. He's gonna get Space away. I, think, I don't think ready. I can stop this. Tactical maneuver engaged. No, we can't stop him. A starting special ready. Okay. We are on fire. I don't like that. Stop being on fire. I am listening. Right, he's just gonna Move run. That's okay. Let's go and launch our. Uh... I am listening. Oh, he blew up one of our our Thunderhawk Bay. Show so us good. The enemy. Oh, we want. Come on. Quick rotate. Oh my god, stop being on fire. Holy shit. It's insane. Like, I've just been on fire this entire fucking match, and like. Ugh. I think 90% of the hold damage he has is from fire. Which is just not what we want here. Come on, turn. Oh my god, these so are not maneuverable. They're like. What the? Alright, we'll repair this soon at least. Repositioning. Tactical maneuver engaged. I am 
listening. Alright, he's lost his generators. Let's try to focus on weapons. So you get a little lucky here. However, it looks like the damage done to the bombers or fighters are permanent. Show us the enemy. What have we lost? We lost both our backer batteries? Oh, fuck position. this. What am I even doing? Trying to go side to side with them. Only in death does duty end. Uh -oh. acknowledged. Can, we, can we do this? 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 Get lucky, get lucky, get lucky, get Yes! Got him. Nice, 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 nice. I was worried we wouldn't manage to flip around there in time to get those torpedoes off to finish him. That would have felt very unfortunate after that battle. That was a long battle, guys. Space Marine versus Space Marine takes a while. I mean, usually battles in this game take like five minutes. This is an eight minute battle. Like double the amount of time almost. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, Halfway to level two. And I think two is when we get our first cruiser, so we're gonna look at some of those. Continuing though, we're gonna try to quickly pick an upgrade. Uh, I'm not gonna go with the troop mat troop yet. Let's go with the boarding action cooldown. I feel like that's probably gonna be important. Crew wise, uh, I'm gonna do a squadron sergeant for the guys with the torpedoes because that'll help the torpedoes from being blown up. And I'm gonna go with Space Marines on the other one. Just to uh, improve their shooting. Yeah, when I say shooting, I mean, you know, uh, boarding, I guess. <laughs> Next battle. We want to keep this rolling. Hopefully get a couple battles in since we spent about yeah, basically the time one battle, looking at ships. Same cruiser clash, we got Eldar this time though. Uh, that's going to be probably rough for us. Probably going to be rough. We aren't super uh, agile, and if they bring many pulsars, we're probably going to be in trouble. It's going to, I think, hinge on whether or not we can get any good rams in. Sort of like with the orcs. You get a couple good rams in, you're set. If you don't, then you're probably in trouble. So let's go ahead and launch our uh, Astartes vessel ready. Ah oh, shit, did I bring the guy who I didn't spend an upgrade for? Oh no. Uh oh. This is really rough. I think I brought the wrong uh, space marine ship. Yeah, he's only level one. Brought the wrong guy. Oh well. I am listening. Oh, you know what I noticed? I've just been like clicking here and then clicking on them because that's how you do assaults. But there's no way to just scramble them as normal fighters. I don't know why I just realized that, but it's just like I guess they just sort of act as fighters on the way. Kind of weird. I'm actually a little bit tempted to just chill back here. Moving to position. Because we got a lot of mines, and that would severely oh, limit course. the Eldar's ability to Tactical maneuver engaged. do some of their shenanigans. So we're gonna actually try to lure them into some of these mines here. How many ships do they have? I just see one so far. Oh, there's two. One there and one there. I am listening. Oh, good. 
I'm level one and dealing with Ulthway storms. That's cool. Underway. I guess. What the hell? Space Marines ready. I guess he's got to go through his own storm. But... To where we are needed. All right, where's my? Let's go ahead and flip around Moving here. Position. I'm identified. He should be too, right? Ready for battle. Oh, 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 don't, don't go into there. Ugh, stupid. Hold course. Repositioning. Full speed. At your command. Fear the angels of death. Moving to position. Um, let's take out engines here. If we can. Show us the enemy. Underway. Oh jeez. God, they do so much damage. I am listening. To where we Just are. Working repairing here. Tactical maneuver engaged. Astartes vessel ready. Hold course. Fear the angels of death. See if we can get unlucky for being shot. <laughs> All right, got a ram in, got a ram in. Ready for battle. At your command. Standard speed engaged. One ram at least. Uh, same here. Go for engines. Show us the enemy. <clears throat> Space Marines ready. A starting oh, oh, vessel close ready. to three. Like, your weapons are only 6k range. I don't understand the logic of... Ugh. The fact that these are auto-set to 6k is just kind of silly to me. Tactical maneuver oh good, it's the pulsars. Moving to position. Wow. Is pulsars play. and torpedoes? We are the chosen of the Emperor! How the fuck was it that? What the hell was that? Did they upgrade these? Pulsars plus torpedoes? Oh goodness. Underway. Standard speed engaged. To where we are needed. Moving to position. Positioning. Ugh. Is he gonna what is he doing? Alright. Tactical maneuver engaged. Hey, uh, okay. I don't know what the hell that was. It just like we ran into the fucking mines. <laughs> Good piloting, Eldar. Good piloting. Oh well, I guess I guess that means is my strategy works. Take them to the mines? Oh. oh my gosh. I don't believe that. The fucking pulsars plus the uh, torpedoes, man, that did like instantly killed my light cruiser. That's insane. Much shorter fight that time, but Eldar, so you know, they're, they're, they're fragile, but as you can see, they put out damage. Alright, so let's go and take a quick look at the options we have available. We have Mark 1, Strike, Cruiser Strike, that's gotta, that has to be Strike Cruiser, not Cruiser Strike. Yeah, maybe not, I don't know. I want to call it Strike Cruiser because Cruiser Strike just sounds really weird. Um, Alright, so Mark 1 has two launch bays instead of just the one. Bombardment Cannon, turret though, so 270 degrees, that's not bad. And then the usual one macro battery. Um, although this macro battery is a lot more powerful. Four shots at 18 damage a piece per macro battery. You have one on each side. So that's that, that thing's not fooling around. That's that's a lot of damage. 72 damage, 12 second cooldown. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Um, 
Mark II has... Oh, right, and then 600 health, 100 shields. Slow and a bad maneuverability. But it's good armor, I guess. Uh, same macro battery. Same bombardment cannon. And this one launches six torpedoes. So it's six torpedoes and it's replacing an ordnance bay. Two ordnance bays. I'm not sure that's worthwhile. I feel like that's probably a downgrade, actually. Although I guess it is point costed seven points less, but I feel like this is more like 20 points worse than this. Or vice versa. I feel like the Strike Cruiser is 20 points better than the Mark II. Uh, let's see if we improve at the Mark III. We're going cheaper. Wow, we're all down 140 points. What do we get? Same macro battery, same turret, and then a prow lance at 24 damage on 8 second cooldown at 9,000 range. Huh. So I think, pretty obviously, the Mark I is the best, and it's costed as such. However, the Mark III isn't bad. Uh, I could definitely see using that as sort of a, uh, uh, what you call it, like a, my secondary cruiser or something. I could definitely see the Mark III filling in that gap. The Prow Lance with, uh, you know, always hitting at 24 damage on 8 second cooldown really isn't bad. Especially with as bad as the maneuverability is, you're going to get shots with that all the time. Just because the enemy is going to be out circling you, and yeah, the prowl lance, so it, it'll get shots in. It'll be worthwhile. Um, I feel like the torpedoes just, yeah. I mean, by, by far, it's the Mark One is the best here. So we're going to go with that for our first cruiser. Uh, we have skill-wise, we're going to grab this induction, and we will also grab Stormhawk Squadron. Uh, main reason we're grabbing Stormhawk here is. Uh, I understand what defensive fighters means now. Uh, normally, ships have the option to launch their, you know, fighters or bombers or assault. And if you launch fighters, they just kind of launch and hover around your ship, shooting down enemy bombers or torpedoes. Um, you don't have that option in Space Marines. You launch your fighters at an opponent, and they sort of fly escort for your assault boats. And I, from what I can tell, it seems like they shoot down things on the way, but... You know, you don't, you can't make that defensive screen that, you know, any of the other factions can. So, yeah, we haven't really looked at any of their ships yet, so let's take a brief look. Hmm. I feel like the textures are a little bit worse than the previously released races um, not like awful I mean I've, I've definitely seen worse textures in games but I definitely feel though that uh, like the especially if you like look right right here I'm like circling with the mouse I feel like the textures are a little bit poor um, not poor but poor is probably the wrong word but it it does not as it doesn't hold up say compared to like the textures right in here like when you look at the textures concerning the guns right here they're pretty good and then like when you look at kind of this vicinity it looks I don't know like they didn't spend as much time working on it maybe uh, same could be said for some of the textures like back here Yeah, I I definitely feel that the the textures don't are, aren't as good compared to the uh, first wave of races. But keep in mind this was just released today that maybe the the high res textures weren't in the game yet. That's entirely possible that the high res textures were not ready, and they might come out at a later date. You never know. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd just say that. They don't quite look as good as the Imperial ships, for example, but they're not bad. They're really not bad. I mean, in, in general, honestly, you're so far zoomed out. This is probably, you know, at, at closest you're going to see it like this, and it definitely looks fine like this. 
So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoy these, please do like and or subscribe. And I will be continuing the Space Marines until we at least get to a battleship. So, uh, hopefully, you guys can look forward to that. Uh, if it takes too long between, you know, unlocking ship classes, I might sort of cut out some of them in between episodes. But, uh, yeah, that way you guys can look forward to seeing some new stuff. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.